Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to solve limits by factoring. And if you haven't seen my video, The Introduction to Limits, um, I suggest that you watch that video first, uh, just so you get a basic idea of what I'm talking about um, in this video. Um, so let's just get started with this example. Um, here we have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus 5x plus 6 all divided by x minus 3. And notice that if we use the plug and chug method, uh, which means if we just plug in a 3 for our x, we get a 3 minus a 3 in our denominator, which gives us a 0 in our denominator. Um, and that can never happen uh, to solve limits. Um, so we got to figure out some other way uh, to solve this limit. Um, so what we want to do is we want to factor this. Um, notice how the numerator is a trinomial, uh, which could easily be factored. And we're hoping that after we factor, uh, we no longer have a zero um, in our denominator. Uh, so let's get started right away in factoring this numerator. Um, if you don't remember how to factor, um, I do have a complete list of algebra videos, which you can go back to and refresh your uh, memory. So x squared minus 5x plus 6 can easily be factored um, to x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 and we'll leave the denominator the same. So now I think it's pretty clear um, that these x minus 3's cancel out and the limit can be rewritten as the limit as x approaches 3 and the only thing we're left with is a x minus 2. Now if we plug in a 3 for our x and we use the plug and chug method uh, we no longer have a zero in our denominator. We actually have no denominator at all. Um, so we can just use the plug and chug method and solve this limit very easily. So if we do plug in a 3 for our x, we get an x of 3 minus 2. And that is equal, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And that is our final answer. So before I finish this video, I want to show you how to solve this graphically um, as well. Um, so the graph of x squared minus 5x plus 6 all divided by x plus minus 3 is actually the same thing as the line x minus 2. And this is the line x minus 2 right here uh, with a undefined point, notice the open circle, at x equals 3. Okay, so this is exactly what the graph looks like. Um, so if we come from the left side of x equals 3. So if we go up the graph, and 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 we keep going up, and we get infinitely close uh, to x equals 3, um, notice how your y value um, is infinitely close uh, to, to 1. And if we go from the right side of x equals 3, so if we start up here, and we go down, and we go down, and we go down, and we go down, and we keep going down, and we get infinitely close to x equals 3, um, notice how we get infinitely close to y equals 1, which we already knew uh, was our answer uh, already from when we solved it before. Um, so that's how you would solve it graphically. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video on solving uh, limits uh, by factoring. Um, if you like the way I teach, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I do provide live tutoring um, and homework solutions. Uh, for any of you that need extra help, uh, yeah, just go to my website at mathmeaning.com. Uh, once again, mathmeaning.com. Uh, once again, thank you for watching my video, and take care.